and try your luck. Here's a new contraption that tells you exactly how many miles you get to the gallon. A gas gauge that mounts right on the windshield to test gasoline mileage on your car. Over 4,000 Chevrolet dealers throughout the country have been equipped with this new device, which settles a lot of gasoline alley arguments about who gets the most miles on a gallon. Now, when your neighbor says he can outrun you on a gallon of gasoline, you needn't find yourself stranded six miles from the nearest gas station when you finish up, and you can both go along to see that there's no snitching. Motorists everywhere are trying this new game of checking gasoline mileage, and besides settling a lot of arguments, they're taking all the guesswork out of gasoline economy. My name is Ron Zernicki. I'm uh, currently on strike with Con Selmer. I'm uh, just a basic rank and file person. Uh, no special duties in there. But uh, lately I've been getting more active. I'm trying to get uh, working with some fellow strikers of mine to uh, get media attention and uh, let the story be told. So what, what is the story? I mean, what was the reason you guys went out? The reason we went out was we got hit with some pretty hard concessionary contract. It was bad in every regard. I think we, we kind of feel they almost want us to turn it down and, and go on a strike. But I, I try to say the most important thing is that it wasn't clear on the contract language whether or not we could get the replacement workers out um, when it would be totally a closed shop. But the second contract, we were asking to put it in writing. They wouldn't put it in writing separately and make it clear. We didn't have lawyers to read the contract very well, and we didn't trust it, so we turned it down. And by the third contract, they pretty much said they wanted the replacement workers. By the fourth contract that we turned down, they only wanted a few back, and they definitely wanted replacement workers, and it was pretty well evident. We were right all along. Um, and that's been really the sticky point. If it's not jobs for everybody, if we all can't have an opportunity to go back, and then it's a no vote. And it's been, what, a year and a half? A year now, coming up on a year. And uh, the big fear now as to whether our strike's going to continue, whether we're going to be able to continue striking. Um, right now, the grassroots movement is trying to put pressure on a uh, company by doing boycotts. we got a lot of boycotts going. Um, we're doing something to do more protest and letter writing and a website. What's the it's, website? It's conselmerstrike.com. Okay. And on there is this collection of information and links and videos that we've done. Very informative. Um, you, you mentioned that the, you're concerned about the representation you're getting. Uh, from, uh, yeah, we just had a... Uh, um, some action where we, we tried to get our president to uh, uh, come forward and, and be a little more public. Uh, we, we've done picket at his place of work. He works there 40 hours a week or more and is not seen on the line very much. A lot of people can't communicate with our bargaining committee. We don't have union meetings. Very rarely. We had one recently in a long time. There was a lot of questions. We didn't even get to answering all the questions in the meeting. Um, and we just don't get, we don't have a strike committee. We don't have any action going. And we're frustrated. We sit on the line, we do nothing. But we want to, after being one year, it's time to get some action going and it's time to get our bargaining committee involved in some activity. Just tell us uh, briefly, uh, it, that's a pretty, uh, I mean, the, the product that comes out of that plant is historically held in a great regard, isn't it? The product that comes out of that plan is the Box Stradivarius horn. It's a legend. It was given to us by Vince Bach himself, came to Elkhart, helped us get going. And in fact, there's a union member here right now sitting over drinking coffee who met Mr. Vince Bach and was in the factory for a while. Um, he wanted that horn done a particular way. Now the company's come out with a true Bach. They're talking about going back to the original way. The way we've been doing it for 30, 40 years is the way Mr. Bach himself taught us and wanted it done. And what the true Bach really is, is just a, a way to explain what the scabs are doing inside there, the quality that they can put out, and it's a way to explain all that. But the, the legend, the Bach legend is dying. And those three people that, that build the legend are out there in the cold, and they're retiring, people are moving on, and if we don't get back in there to get that Bach horn going again, I truly fear whether or not it'll even survive. Um, anything else you want to say, boycott? Uh... No, the only thing I want to say is that um, uh, we're all family here, and we support all the other struggles with UAW, and we'd like them to also think about us and uh, support us.